is Akhtar. I am the English teacher in the primary section here and the school is GEMS UIS. UIS is actually a new, pretty new school compared to the other schools around here but initially we were known as our own English high school. So we have a legacy of uh, legends coming out of our school. I'm pretty new with the school but uh, even when I was back, back in the day when I was in school I've heard a lot about the people who've been teaching here, who've come out of here. When I first stepped in it was just for the very funny reason, I kind of missed being at school. So I just came back to teach and once I got into the field, once I became a part of it, like I've been coming, I've been from a family of teachers, my mom is one, my aunt is one, so I thought let's give it a try, but when I actually stepped in, it kind of felt really beautiful, you know, with a different feeling. You have a new set of kids coming every year and then you kind of form an attachment with them and even years down the line they come back and they greet you as if they've just met, they've just parted. So the, feel, the feeling of being with the students, teaching them, learning from them. Like half the things on technology I've learned from my boys. They, they keep telling me, ma'am, did you know this phone has this? Did you know that car has that? So I'm totally aware, unaware of those things and they're like my newspapers, my tablets. First off, we need to understand that when the society thinks being a teacher is easy, they are just not speaking the truth. Because being a teacher is a very difficult job. It requires loads of patience and a large amount of sacrifice on your side. So if the child wants to be a teacher for a high pay scale or a reputation or something, that's not going to happen. It's, it's, a, it's like a social service kind of thing. I hope it's not filled with technology alone. Because right now we see a, a switch from chalk and tail both to a technology oriented one. So I kind of feel that technology is taking away the child's imagination as well. So if there's a right balance, like technology teaches you after you've learned how to imagine things like touch and feel, the technical, the traditional touch and feel ways should be there. Reading of books should be there. Books should be in paper, not on tabs. So as long as there's a balance between the two, I think it's going to be fine. A few of the differences I feel, because I haven't been out of school quite long. 2009 was when I graduated from school. So from that time to now, and when I listen to stories of people when they were in school, where corporal punishments were allowed and all, the behavior of student and teacher has changed a lot. Now the student doesn't fear you, but they're, they're more like your friends now. But then when it comes to that, it, I think that if you don't keep it in check, there will be one point where the student will start disrespecting you. And it's kind of important that the student keeps the elderly respect with the teacher because although we are friends, they need to understand that not everybody out there is going to be as open and as welcoming as we are. So they need to understand that there are certain boundaries they can cross, there are certain lines they can't cross. So while being really friendly with them, while being at their level, while being treating them as young people instead of children or kids like that, I think we should just teach them values as to just where each person's respect lies and how you should treat or how you should deal with them. I think that's the world's biggest misconception. Being a teacher is a short duration work. The minute you go home, you're free from your responsibilities. That's the biggest joke of the century. I am not, I don't even have a family to look after yet because I'm, I'm still single but when, in my own household I do not find enough time to do anything for myself. I'm always thinking about the school, I'm always thinking about my children. Everything I see something on the stationery stand and like this will be nice in the school. A person like as free as me, I do not have a mental space away from the school. So I, I really appreciate the teachers who've come down with their own families and they go back home and they never ignore any of their household chores. So it's like they are doing two 24-hour jobs in one 24-hour span. That's why it's really hats off to those people. So all those who think teaching is an easy profession, they really need to understand that a teacher never stops being a teacher, whether at home or at school.